I'm hoping that this course is a place for people to explore their thinking. And not just their thinking about Shakespeare, but their thinking about the humanities, their thinking about themselves, their thinking about their own identities, their thinking about the communities that they live in. We're going to have a journey together, either in small groups, in meetups, in online discussions, synchronous, asynchronous discussions, the watching of videos. You contribute to the community and you also get something from the community. You get something from Shakespeare and you also give something back. Are you in a comedy or are you in a tragedy? Those moments you think life is, is at its absolute rock bottom. What torture I did find the it. You say, but what if I'm in a comedy? That changes the way you look at it. What fire is in mine ears? I am not a tragic character with a fatal flaw. Maybe there's a tragic situation going on, but I have the ability to open and close doors. To be or not to be, oh, what a rogue and peasant slave am I. You start with the phrase, you keep going, and eventually the words become yours. That is this moment of connection. That's what Shakespeare did when he wrote these plays. He listened and he watched the world around him and how it all worked and all the different classes of people. All Elizabethan England was not uh, one kind of culture. It was a conglomeration of all these different people coming together from all different parts of the world. And he put them all on that stage. For so long said that Shakespeare was universal, and then scholars kind of got worried about that idea of universality, like maybe there isn't such a thing as universality, what, that means everybody in the whole world needs to love Shakespeare, and maybe some people don't. For me, Shakespeare's not a stable thing, right? It's not a, it's not a, not something that's set in stone, it's not a tablet that, you know, Moses found on, <laughs> on the mountain. Uh, instead, it's something that changes. Shakespeare's not easy, and Shakespeare's not something we can put a bow on. We can't just study Shakespeare for four weeks and be done. Because there isn't a universal perspective on Shakespeare, it's helpful to see what other people are taking away from it because it might point out something that you yourself hadn't thought about before. Each play changes as you change as a person. So the Romeo and Juliet that I knew when I was 15 and in freshman English is different than the one that I experienced at age 40 sitting in the audience. When I teach Shakespeare, I think it's really important to talk about not what Hamlet is doing and here's how we are to understand it in this one way, but I talk about my Hamlet is doing this or thinking this or doing it because, and then I ask the student, what is your Hamlet doing at this point?